as I made my way away from the newly claimed power plant of mine, I found this diseased grafton monster hanging out in the river, which drew my attention to this train yard, the Charleston train yard, where we stumble across a mystery of a hidden order and betrayal, and it all starts along the railing on the outskirts of this brick building. This lady here turns out to be a member of a hidden society with a secret lair in one of the nearby buildings. We grab everything and find out about the Order of Mysteries. So we make our way to Riverside Manor, where we clear out the outside scorched, make our way inside, and try and find out what's going on here. After clearing out most of the scorched, which take up residence in the upper part of the manor evidently, we find a couple computer terminals, this one in the larger room, not leading to anything, but this one in the smaller room nearby, providing us with a bunch of information and actually a how to get into the layer down below. Alright, so we go through the personal journal here where we'll find a little bit of information on what we're going to need to get into that layer. So, this one says, This morning, Frederick asked me to put on my costume veil and come down to the front parlor. He said he had a surprise for me. So what we do is we put on our veil, which we got from the lady hanging over the railing. Stylish, of course. Very nice. And also very nice that you can wear it with a helmet. So we make our way to the parlor here to the left. Not really sure as to what to search for. That seems like it. And we found the secret layer. Are we able to pass through these safely? Here we are. Wow. So now we proceed for registration. All right. And we've begun the initiate of mysteries. So we've joined a group of people which actually don't exist anymore. All right, so now we have to register ourselves here in the computer system. Listen to the headmistress's welcome. When finished, log into your new account. If you do not have a mentor, one will be assigned to you. Use the database queries option to search for an available mentor. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna log in. I can't believe we missed Everyone. It's almost like joining the Brotherhood if there was nobody left in the Brotherhood. We have to follow a paper trail. So we're going to go to our ranks and permissions. Log in. No missions available to us. And no reports for those. You can see everybody. So it was a smaller group. Headmistress. Mistress of novices. And then a group of other women. All women, of course. So nothing more that we can access in the system now. All we can do is listen to the initiate holotape. So now being filled in on all the orders, policies, info, and all the necessary rules and regulations, we make our way to Lewisburg, where we're told we need to meet up with our mentor. 
We can't learn from our mentor and move on in the system until we've met up with her. So let's see if she's alive. It is infested with super mutants. So, doesn't look right. This seems to be a place where these probably shouldn't land. There's, there's no foreseeable way up on top of this, but it happens. And I would like what is inside. Please. Black powder rifle. So drops in this area are definitely much better. That's effective. That cake wasn't spoiled. Here she is. Here she is. Natasha Hunt. Well, she didn't make it. I'm sorry to drop this on you. Tiana hasn't reported in from her last mission. Olivia and I are heading out to investigate. I have a lead on a raider scouting party. I need you to follow up on it. Standard protocol. Secure the location, look for signs of raider activity, and report back to the manor. Be careful, dear. So they've had some girls go missing, and now this has happened here, so something fishy is definitely going on. Alright, and I think we found the raider. He's across the way, up top, but also dead. So it looks like she retaliated. Alright, we found a staircase in the back alley. A little bit out of the way, and not on the same building. Oh, bobblehead as well. Alright, and here's our raider. Got some new intel. One of the girls will be out your way on Thursday. Get word to Char and his boys in Big Bend. You're going to need backup. Stake out Louisburg, set up an ambush, find a good sniper nest, and don't underestimate her. If she gets a chance to react, you're all dead. Don't screw this up. And that's from Brody. We'll take the sniper rifle. Now, they knew she was going to be here, and they ambushed. So, they're getting intel from somebody on the inside. I think that's the only way you could possibly get into the database, or they're getting in there themselves. Clear out the last of this, and we'll head back to the terminal. So on her body, we got her login for this computer. So, unable to connect, start a recording, okay, here we go. So I want to download this council meeting. And we'll see what happened next. Alright, let's keep this brief. Vanessa and Brianna are missing. Given recent events, we should assume they've been ambushed. What do you mean, assume? Are we just giving up on them? Of course not, but... We should take rescue teams. Groups of three or four. They can't possibly take us all on. We're shorthanded enough as it is. We can't have everyone on search and rescue. Damn it. None of this makes sense. We've fought those bastards for years. Any one of us could take down an entire raider squad ourselves. <laughs> Most of us have. But now, all of a sudden, we're the ones getting wiped out? Why? What changed? I don't know, but we have to find a way forward. Eve, I want you to ramp up our training program. The younger girls need to be able to defend themselves. Of course. Olivia, watch the manor. If you see anything suspicious, report back at once. Sure. I mean it. No games, no pursuit. Yeah, got it. Everyone else? I'm going to post a new mission this afternoon. I won't assign it out, but 
I want you all to take a look at it. If anyone has any better ideas, see me in my office. So Just after listening to that, we can definitely tell someone from the inside is letting this out. It's weird that all of a sudden they're losing members after all this time. Okay, so I've accepted my promotion in the system, and now we move on to the fabricator. Which is going to be our source of crafting our items that we're going to need throughout here, I think. Fabrication services. And we can create our garb of mysteries. Alright, so it's gone right into our inventory, and we can't wear it actually until level 25. Alright, so we've now made our Garb of Mysteries and listened to the headmistress's message. I didn't realize you had to actually click down. There's, there's, there's actually continue on the next page. A little bit confusing. And there we go. We've completed Initiate of Mysteries. Unfortunately, the beta session that I'm on right now is about to end, so we pick this up momentarily. Congratulations, dear. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. But I'm sure the other girls can walk you through your vows. Things have been difficult for us of late. In eight years, we only lost one member of our family. In the past three months, we've lost seven. All to raider ambushes. I've asked Eve to accelerate our training program. If the worst should happen, we need everyone to be ready. In order to become a full member of the Order, you will need to master the tools of the Mistress of Mystery. Sword, shot, and shadow. Work with Eve and your mentor. When the time comes to prove yourself, Kryptos has the details. Alright, so we've made our way to Kryptos where we can accept our missions here from the mission board finally. So we need to progress our way through these missions so that we can actually get into her office. We need to get the ranking of headmistress so that we can see what happened here. So I'll learn all these so we can just kind of go from there. We'll make our way over to the fabricator and try and figure out how to craft the Blade of Bastet. Hopefully a useful weapon. Alright, so at the Fabricator we can look up the different items that we're going to need here. So, we'll need a Historic Sword and a Swing Analyzer for the Blade. Of which the Swing Analyzer we do have already. That's just provided for us here with the Fabricator. So now we need to make our way to the Blade's location. Kind of search through here. And that looks like it. Here at the blades location. Let's clear out the feral ghouls. And it is the White Spring Golf Club. So let's find ourselves a blade. Ghouls. All right, and here's the sword we're after. Hey, you're late. So this is Brody, uh, who's in the nope for. This is Blackwater territory. We've had issues with them lately. We'll open this. two raids have gone well. We lost a couple guys, but nothing like before. The boss said he'd take your deal. Finally. So she's made a deal. One of Honestly, the one of the people in the order. Babe, you and I are moving up in the world. Do you have the tape? 
Not yet. Found the program I need. Meet me here next week and I'll have it for you. Until then, I've got another ambush site picked out. So she's giving them ambush sites as well. Uh, Lewisburg. Yeah, Carrie's gang is down that way. All right, I'll set it up. Anything else? No, we're good. See you next week. So she's continuing to set up everyone. Uh, there's not much of the group left at this point, I don't think. Okay, I visited the fabricator one more time here in the lair. And it's time to make our blade of Bestet. So go to... It is actually a mod. Threw me off a little bit. I couldn't really figure out where to craft it. I thought it was in the fabricator itself. Turns out you craft it just as you would any other weapon. Alright, we'll make our blade up. And there we go. What's next? We're gonna move on to Oh, we've actually still we've actually still got this. So this is still an objective. We're not quite done yet. Swing analysis. Alright. We actually have to go put this to use. Alright, to calibrate our Grant's Saber is what it, it's still Grant's Saber is what it turns out to be. Um, with the swing analyzer, we have to kill six different creatures. Uh, basically to calibrate it, I believe. So, we're gonna go through there. I've got a Brahmin here. Now I found that they can't be humanoid creatures. Or people. <laughs> Radstag. And the normal Radstag actually counted as well. So, different variations of the same creature actually work. Alright, I believe I found my last one. This should definitely count. And an ant just to be safe. A legendary ant. It's incredible. A legendary ant. <laughs> Alright, and back to the manor yet again. Just drink some water here. So now we should be able to make the full blade itself. And there we go. So we've got our blade. One of the three objectives complete. So for this part, we're going to need a stealth boy and a hallucinogen gas container or canister. And for this one, we need experimental weapon research data. And what are we talking for the weapon itself? Blade of Vistat increased armor penetration. 67 damage with a medium swing. Could definitely put this to use. And forging a legend complete. Now that we've found out that someone is definitely on the inside giving information to this raider named Brody, we make our way to the Garahan Mining Headquarters to see if we can find this hallucinogen gas canister to help create our phantom device. Alright, it seems that super mutants have come in here. I've taken out everything on the outside. It looks like we're making our way into what seems to be a subway or something along those lines. The 
excavator power armor. It's definitely something that I'm going to want to start. Anyway, I thought this was the end. Alright. Okay, here's the entrance. It just looked like a subway. It actually... I don't know what this is. There's a turret, though. Unlock security gate. Doesn't seem very secure. Alright, we've made our way into a mine full of mole miners. Let's see if we can find this gas container. All right, a quick unlock of this computer gets us access to the turrets. I'm not going to deactivate them. I'll actually just remove... Remove, basically, the restriction to shoot the miners. So we'll let those take them out and open the door here. Nothing very interesting here. You pay for that. All right, I believe that was the last one. Made it through quite a few waves of super mutants in here and mole miners. Make sure I get all this loot. A lot of power armor equipment in here. And actually two sets of power armor. This one has stuff on it. The other one was just a... Uh... This is actually T-51B. It's very good. I'm going to have to actually take these off and bring them back with us. Alright, clearing out this area. Found a T-45 Motion Assistant Servos. Not sure what that is, but it's a mod for a piece of power armor, so definitely important to have. Alright, after unlocking the safe with this terminal, we should be all set. Hallucigen gas canister. And a whole bunch of other stuff in the safe. Okay, so we've got our gas canister, we've got the stealth boy, and now we need to make our way back to the lair. Also, I found here a couple pieces of power armor stuff, and what looks to be the quest line starting the excavator set of power armor, which we'll definitely be getting into next. I want to make it back and do this, but I really want to figure out where we're going with this quest. Alright, and we made our way back to the fabricator. We can now create the phantom device, I hope. There we go. Which I think will be an upgraded stealth boy. And now we move on to the voice of set, which we need that experimental weapon research for. So, um, it's actually getting a little bit longer, so I think I'm going to end it here, and we'll continue off the second part of the whole quest line here um, for the Mistress of Mystery. Basically, we'll see if we can get all the way to the end in the next video. I don't think it should be longer than two. And I hope you enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun going through this, learning the story and everything like that. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Fallout 76 as well. I really am. I think it's a really great game. Uh, anyway, that's where I'm going to stop for today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me, please. And or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.